Welcome back. The first face transplant patient in the U.S. spoke today in Chicago about what he went through and about the technology that gave him a new outlook on life. Uh, Dina Baer tells us doctors were also there to talk about this procedure that's really nothing short of remarkable. My entire story is a miracle. He finally believes in miracles. After an accident that left him near death, his entire face burned off. Dallas Weens was painting a church when he came in contact with a high voltage wire. That was back in 2008. Absolutely no features and only a two inch slit from my mouth. How things have progressed and the where I'm at today is further than we could have ever hoped for in the beginning. In 2011, doctors at Brigham and Women's Hospital performed an experimental surgery, the first ever U.S. full face transplant. A family donated a loved one's face, not just the skin, but underlying arteries. The large vessels were connected from the donor face to the recipient. It was a playing field where we didn't know where the players were. We didn't know where the vessels were. We didn't know how the surgery would work. And so by mapping it out and looking at those vessels, we were able to say, oh, this is amenable to the surgery. There's a vessel here that we can make tissue live. The mapping is performed by radiologists. And thanks to a super CT scan called a 320 detector row dynamic computed angiography, they could see the connected vessels thriving and the blood flow branching out to still other smaller arteries. It worked for Dallas and the transplant patients after him. I think the most amazing thing is that there is a, amongst the three patients, there's a very consistent vascular reorganization. And that means the skin is healthy and the tongue grows back. The blood flow to the tongue was still maintained. This was kind of surprising. I've actually regained about a fourth of the hair you see on my head, all of my facial hair, the ability to breathe through my nose and have prosthetic eyes, and a far, uh, far more advanced ability to eat. My ability to speak has progressed dramatically. It's a lot of science that's been built over years with such an exceptional human being that now can spread that message to the others. And the message today is one of gratitude and need. I mean, the aesthetic benefits are amazing, of course, but the, the physical and functionality has improved my quality of life in ways that I couldn't even begin to put into words. I would love to see the number of donors increase dramatically. And I would love to see other people just decide that when it is time for their life to end, it can be time for a new life to begin. It's amazing how well he can speak, too. Isn't it? Well, this is just one of the new findings being discussed in Chicago at the Radiological Society of North America conference this week. And take a look at some of these fascinating results. These are some pictures of face transplants from before to after. Amazing transformations. We'll be right back.